directly from them. So um, that would be my website, brandonmillerkc.com. Um, you can follow me on all the social medias, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, all those. And it's just uh, at Brandon Miller KC on those as well. Um, you know, see where where I am out and about playing, what's going on, what, what kind of new gear I got. I love to collect gear. So um, any gear heads out there, hit me up and we'll... No, uh, go on. What type of gear are we talking? <laughs> yeah. What are we talking here? What are we... When you say gear, musical stuff? Uh, yeah, musical stuff. You know, I'm uh, any guitars, vintage guitars, vintage amps. Um, I, uh, you know, in terms of that, I love to collect any of that. Um, I'm a huge baseball fan uh, of the Kansas City Royals. I'm excited. Opening day is uh, th this Thursday coming up for us in Kansas City. So, um, you know, baseball and music, that's what, that's what I love to do. It's funny, I always, I always say it's jiggy to guitar players. They always collect guitars. They've always got a guitar hanging on their wall, and I can see you've got one just to the left of you. That's right. <laughs> that yeah. nice, looks like a nice gold electric. Yeah, this one, uh, let's see. That's actually oh, uh, Dan yeah, nice. Danielle's. Um, she's got a... Uh, shoot, I forget the year on that one. Um, it's, a, it's a 70s P-Bass, um, and it's a fretless, too. She, uh, she just picked that up. Um, Let's see, probably probably about a year and a half ago, I think it was. So, yeah. But we uh, always, all kinds of, actually just got back in town last night. We had a show in Philly on uh, Friday. So right behind the computer here, there's about, you know, nine guitars all cased up and ready for action when, a, when called upon. So, mm. yeah. Well, you're lucky you had good parents, you know, bought you a cool instrument like a guitar. That's you, right. You could have had terrible parents like mine who bought me a violin when I was seven. Oh. <laughs> you know, it looks good for a bit for the parents. Yeah, my son plays the violin. But when you're 16 and you're st walking around with a violin, it's, it's not the coolest thing. Yeah. And, and, you know, you don't get to, there's no real bands you can join. So, yeah. So all those parents out there buying guitars. <laughs> yep. Guitars, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't seem to matter, you know, where you're at or who you're talking to. A guitar is always something cool to have around. So, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've seen on YouTube, you've got quite a few videos going. Yeah. Um, I'm, I've, the one that caught my eye was the one for Gone, because it looks like you've got a gold microphone in there. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we actually... Um, Danielle and I, we have, uh, we usually just use Shure Beta 58s um, oh, yeah. for our vocals and stuff. Um, and uh, even before the pandemic, we would, you know, we'd always carry our own microphones and stuff with us and to just differentiate between our microphones and the club's microphone or wherever you were at the festival you were playing. We just got those, those yeah. gold replacement balls to. Um, they do go missing, don't they? they? They do go missing, and uh, just disappears when you go out for a gig. You leave it, leave the house with five microphones, a turn with three, sort of. Yeah, you know it. Uh, it adds up after a couple of them. So, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, yeah. I've uh, that that video gone. We um, we shot that video uh, last summer actually, and that was the uh, first single off my latest album, Virtue and Vice, that we released in August. Um, oh, cool. and that's a, that's a good, heavy, heavy guitar song. If you like guitar. So now you were recently, uh, I understand, uh, did a, uh, pretty big, pretty big deal with, uh, <laughs> one of the guys from Hall and Oates. Yeah, we, um, yeah, we did, um, with playing with Danielle and her group. Um, we just played, um, uh, Daryl's house the Daryl's house club in uh, New York. Um, and he puts together, he's got this really awesome club. Um, and we were able to luckily enough to play there. Um, they had recently just opened and um, they had a very, very small capacity um, to come and watch us, but they do a great, great job with the production and the audio and video. Um, and they live stream all our concerts out. Um, and we did a, you know, a solid two hour set there at Daryl's house, um, which is always fun. You know, it's top notch, top notch equipment, top notch 
production guys. The crew is great, um, and we always we always have a fun time there. So, so yeah, it's, cool. It, it's cool to say you play Daryl's house. So if if I'm coming over from the UK to New York, that's the place. That's I'd a recommend good thought. Daryl's yeah. house to go to listen to some live music. Oh yeah, totally. They I think they have they have live music six nights a week. Um, it's always top notch stuff, and uh, you know from New York City and Manhattan, it's probably about an hour and a half drive. You know, not not too bad at all. Sounds good. That's awesome. So, uh, so Brandon, what 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 is the latest uh, single that uh, we, we we should be playing here today with you, my friend? Uh, that would be uh, the title track off my latest album, "Virtue and Vice," um, is the latest single that I have out, um, and that came out last August. Cool. So. Well, we have got that track because we're going to play it. Initially, we're going to play it through YouTube, but we're going to paste paste in the track later, just in case there's an advert or something like that that comes up. Sure. Brandon, we can be editing it out. But um, this is Brandon Miller with Virtue and Vice. <laughs>
you in a vice. Brandon Miller there with Virtue and Vice. Brandon, that's a, that's a great track. That's um, that's a that's a great track. I've I've got to ask you straight off 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 the cuff here. Have you been over to Europe or the UK at all with any of your, your tracks? Done any touring? Uh, a little bit with my band. Um, we've done some shows in France. Um, but we've um, you know, we've been looking for representation. Um to help us out over in Europe and the UK and stuff, but we would love to get over there more. Um, I have been over quite a few times with, with the Danielle and Nicole band. We do a lot of stuff in the UK, um, the Netherlands and Norway. So, um, but yeah, we're trying as much as we can. We would love to, we would love to get over there just as I much. Could, as I could do. just so hear this getting played in the bars and pubs over here, you know, yeah. and, and clubs, a great track. Um, <laughs> Have you had any look with any sort of syncing? Because it's, you know, it's that, it's that level, you know, you'd almost expect to hear it in a sort of sort of US TV thing or something like that. Have you, have you explored right. that much? Um, we have explored that a little bit. Um, we haven't had anybody biting on that yet, but I remember um, uh, for that track, when, when we first released that single, we had a lot of feedback um, on Instagram about, you know, oh, this sounds like the theme song to some, you know, uh, like you know outdoor show or you know some kind of yeah kind of, you know manly show or whatever but it's like no that sounds like it should be the theme song of you know or or like you said the back you know the song and in, in some background music and in, in a tv show or something yeah so no, it's, it's 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 something that hopefully hopefully will catch on and and you know if the right people hear it that it can be it can be a part of that i i really honestly i think that sounds fantastic that track i think you've got some huge potential with with that and um keep pushing it i know it's been a few months but it just takes the right person to listen to it you know Absolutely. and um my friend released um a song he waited a, a full year year and a half um he kept up with it and then he got um synced with a computer game the computer game took it on on fifa oh okay nice and, um so do do keep trying um yeah it's decent money in it as well i think so <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we call those uh, we call those mailbox checks. It's nice to get That's those, right. uh, those royalty <laughs> checks, you know, where you don't have to. You just get walking <laughs> yeah. out your mailbox. So <laughs> those would be nice. That's uh, awesome. Uh, just a just a quick funny story. Do you remember the band Babylon Zoo? Yeah. They did the Spaceman track. Uh -huh. A friend, a friend of mine used to unknowingly live with um, the bass player from that band. Um, sort of student house if you like they'll sort of live together in the house and he would just stay in do nothing and every so often a check would come through the door for that you know spaceman track or something yeah. like that is that's the story anyway yeah. but, uh, never heard. it's a nice life you know yeah. <laughs> you can stay in bed and earn money cool we'd all be doing it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well brandon uh i look forward to uh to chatting with you next week because i understand you're going to be in my neck of the woods in hutchinson kansas that's right. We 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 will be uh, in Hutchison um, next Saturday at the Red Shed. On yes. April 3rd, so. Yes, and uh, we're we're going to be doing some stuff for Jiggy Jag TV with you, so that that should be fun. But uh, but before we let you go, how do we find you online and and everything else, my friend? Uh, check out my website, brandonmillerkc.com. Uh, that's the same handle at brandonmillerkc or Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, um, amongst whatever other social media I decide to dive into in my free time. And, uh, you know, so if, um, yeah, keep in touch and see you when I'm coming to a town near you. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks for doing this. And uh, we will talk me. to you soon. Thank you, sir. Sounds good. See you guys. Appreciate it, my Peace. friend. Thank you. 
There he goes. Brandon Miller. And so, do we have anybody in the waiting room there, Dan? No. Or is it? Okay. But that's fine. Well, what we'll do is I'm going to send this... I'm going to send this file over to you. And I 